Alrighty guys, today I'm Man Cave Tools. We are gonna do a little swap when it comes to my emergency roadside assistance kit. Now, I used to use Milwaukee Packout, but since Ryobi has a cheaper alternative for a tool portable storage unit, and it's actually a good one. Now, I test this out, it passed my test. Now, in the future, I wanted to drop test with tools in it, but I think that both the Packout and the Ryobi won't do that great if you really drop these and like slam these on the ground. My main test for the Ryobi Link portable storage units was standing on them, jumping on them and stomping on them. And now, I don't know about you, but that's strong enough for me. And I'm 216 pounds. I'm not exactly a light guy. If Ryobi doesn't hesitate and they make different units very quickly, I will majorly buy into the Ryobi Link system and I'll replace all my Milwaukee Packout with Ryobi. These are made in the USA, so let's go over my emergency roadside assistance kit and swap this stuff out. Even with the Milwaukee Packout, I wasn't able to fit everything inside of the unit. But I did swap the unit out, which the original unit that I had for my emergency roadside assistance was this one. And I will put the model number in right now for this. But since Ryobi has a cheaper alternative for a tool storage unit, and in my opinion, I think this design is awesome. I love it. I'm actually proud to actually have these. And it's made in the USA, and these are durable enough. So let's uh, swap this stuff out really quick. I do have a Hilti impact wrench that is powerful enough to take off truck lug nuts. I have the Ryobi inflator that also will do uh, air mattresses. I also use this uh, out in the water to blow up inner tubes and it also fills up tires. I have a full set of Tac Life impact rated sockets. Now I've been using this for uh, Tac Life impact rated sockets for years and they actually hold up. And so yeah, I do uh, trust Tac Life impact rated sockets. They actually are good. And uh, I put the units in here because I wanted that bigger pack out unit in the garage, which that is gonna be swapped out with Ryobi as well. Very good, I got those. Uh, I might use one of these if necessary. Another one, that's why I got it. Because I also use, I also use this stuff to take care of my uh, trailers for the Wave Runner and for the boats. So if I need to work on those trailers while I'm on the road, I have the proper equipment to do so. I do have the Ryobi light, the 1.5 amp hour battery, which I did use this already. I have some straps, which the other straps are actually being used. Which I do have a TAC Life uh, jump starter, which is just the battery. Battery's still full, because I charged it up last time I took this out. I'm actually gonna put that in here. Like I said, that uh, that Ryobi inverter, that 800 watt inverter, I was hoping it would be able to jumpstart stuff with an 18 volt battery, but that is not the case. I have lug nuts that was uh, replaced by the locks. I do have a half inch to a quarter inch uh, collet adapter, in case I need to uh, unscrew something. That, that makes this one empty. And yeah, I think I am going to use this, take the spacer out. Put the, check the battery life while I'm at it. Battery's full. This is, this is not the Hilti Neuron stuff. I have a tire repair kit right here. I have gloves, pliers, the emergency vest. I have a connection that the truck came with. I got flares, which I actually forgot I had flares. Phillips and flathead screwdriver. Some glow sticks. Some sanitizing wipes. that came with the truck. Little first aid kit, I have a couple of those. I have a, a rain poncho. 
truck sticker that, that the truck came with and a few more connections that the truck came with. So I'm going to put those there. Put that underneath. Emergency ponchos. Perfect. And it, wow, that's actually more room than I thought. You know, the one thing that I keep separate, I do not put in there, is this. I just put this uh, on the side of it because this is big and I, I use this more than anything. And I keep this one on the side because this is all the sockets that I would need. And the one thing I am missing is uh, a bit set, actually. And the bits that I'm going to be putting into this kit is the Bosch. Bosch is going to go in here. Actually, I'm wondering, no, that's not going to be able to fit in there. That's a completely different type of system. That might fit right there. Yes, it does perfectly. And there we go. That is my emergency roadside assistance kit. All right, so uh, uh, with the Milwaukee Packout system, one thing, uh, I got more into this unit than that one. And I'm going to be able to add some more. Like, I get to add my paper towel, which used to be floating, just floating around in the back, and some extra towels. So let's see if we can close this up. Perfect, actually. Done. So now I have everything just like that. And if I really wanted to, I don't even have to uh, put this in there. I just could take these out individually and place them in there. But I want them in a case. Any? Nope, I got uh, the full set, so I'm good to go. Lock those up. This one's done. And yeah, this is my uh, this is my emergency roadside assistance kit right here. Bam many things in here for many situations and so then i'm good one situation i don't want to be in is be stuck on the side of the road and i'm screwed and i, I got the jack in the car yeah it, that does come with a uh, nut wrench but i'd rather have an impact wrench so i could take care of the tire if i need to swap out uh the rims in seconds and so that uh, an impact wrench majorly helps out with that and you could undo you can, un uh, you can loosen up and tighten those uh, lug nuts off in seconds. And you could also, when you get home, tor uh, torque them to the proper specs. You know, like is if you're on the side of the road, who cares if they're, the lug nuts are a little too tight? You know, like you could adjust that when you get back home. And so it'll be good to go. Get your happy butt off the road and back on the road you know, to, to swap out a tire in no time. And if you have a flat tire, you're taken care of. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have a good space right here for my stuff. So that goes like that, how I normally put it. This is better. I think this is better. Perfect. Like it. I like it a lot. So I am taken care of in many situations just by having that. So yeah, this is my emergency roadside assistance kit. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.